For this lesson, we're going to concentrate on the base cabinets in the kitchen and the utilities that are incorporated within the kitchen. There will be modifications necessary to areas like the closet and the window and maybe the end of the wall. These will be done in the next video. If you scroll down into your tool palette and go to your content browser, go back into your design tool catalog Imperial, and we're going to go into furnishings. We're going to select casework, which are the cabinets. We're going to first focus on the corner cabinets. We're going to use the base corner cabinet and insert in a drawing, and we're going to put them outside of the kitchen because they will need rotation. We're going to left click here and left click there. Hit escape. There will be one base cabinet corner going here and one over here. We also want to pull out a 9 inch cabinet, which is going to fit very close, but once again, we'll need some modification against this wall. Back in and we'll back up. We're going to go into the base cabinets. We're going to select 9. You'll notice all of our cabinets are divisible by 3, which is a standard in cabinet making. Insert in the drawing. Left click. If I select the cabinet, you'll see a grip on the back. That's the back of the cabinet. This is the front of the cabinet. If you don't know, you can go up to your views and manipulate using your 3D orbit. Click, click, hold, drag. Select escape. And you can see that's the front of the cabinet. Go back to a top view. We're going to pull out a range. And we're going to pull out a refrigerator. We're going to go back into the content browser. And we're going to back up. We're going to go to the catalog top. And we're going to select the equipment link. And we're going to go into residential. And you'll see the various items that are going to be incorporated into the residential area of the home. We do have certain things that may be incorporated in the kitchen, especially in the smaller kitchen that we have, such as a toaster and maybe even a trash compactor. We're going to back up and we're going to go into the food service. We're going to select refrigerator and use the smallest refrigerator, the top and bottom, 30 by 24, and insert in the drawing. We're going to left click and escape. Go back into your catalog and we'll back up one. We're going to the range. We're going to select the 30 by 24 range, which is our smallest range available. Escape. We're going to bring out one more cabinet, and then we're going to bring out the kitchen uh, sink. So we're going to go back into, we're going to go into the catalog top. We're going to go back into furnishings, and we're going to go into casework. We're going to go into the base cabinets, and we're going to get to the second page of the base cabinets where we'll find a 42 inch wide cabinet inserted in the drawing. Left click. Once again, if I select, this is the back of the cabinet and this is the front of the cabinet. We'll rotate it so we can see the front of the cabinet. Our sink will rest in this cabinet. Escape. Go back in and same area that we found our catalog top. The same area we found our bathroom utilities and mechanical for plumbing, plumbing fixtures, and we found our toilet, our lavatory, and bathtub. This time we're going to move over here and click on sink. And we're going to use the kitchen double B. Insert in the drawing. And we're going to left click and just place it in the screen. All these are the components for this video are going to be just in the base area. We'll get into the wall cabinets and the modification of the kitchen into our next video. Left click on one of the corner cabinets, go into the home tab and select rotate. We're going to select the back corner, left click and flick the cabinet around until we see it lock in with our green line straight up and down. Left click. We're going to do the same thing with this corner cabinet. Home, rotate, left click, and rotate it so it's this way. We could use the move command. I'm going to left click, pick it up at its grip, put it in the corner. Left click, left click, 
the left click. And I'm going to select the escape. I'm going to rotate this cabinet. We're going to place it here. Put in the home tab, select rotate, left click, left click, select, left click, zoom with the wheel, left click, escape. This cabinet we need to flip around. I could, instead of selecting the cabinet first, go straight into rotate also as another option. Select rotate, select the cabinet, then select enter. I'm going to select the back of the cabinet, flip it around. So now my drawer front and door are over here. Left click, left click, left click. This is the modification that's necessary. We'll do that in the next video. If I left click on my range, you'll see the grip picking up at the middle spot. If I left click on that, I can manipulate it anywhere along this wall. If I left click right on the end and left click on my range and I left click anywhere on this wall. Now I could also, next to rotate, there's move. In the same manner, I left click on move, I left click on what I would like to move, and I select enter. I can pick the base point anywhere I want. If I click here, I can slide the refrigerator anywhere down. I could lock it next to the range, but I'm going to give myself a little bit of space. In a typical kitchen, you would need 24 inches between working centers for food storage, for cooking, and so on, for washing dishes, and so on. And here, since it's our cabin, we'll just place the range here and the refrigerator there. Our sink, we're going to left click, we're going to pick it up at its middle grip, and we're going to put it at the midpoint of our 42 inch wide sink. Escape. We're going to select rotate, we're going to select the sink, we're going to select enter. In the same manner, we're going to pick it up here as a base point, and we're going to turn it around, left click, and left click. We're also going to move it forward a little bit by left clicking, left click, and drag it straight forward. Type in the number one, or one inch, escape. We're gonna modify the window also in the next video and complete our wall cabinets. Double click on the wheel. This ends the lesson for this video.